What is going on guys? Today we are looking at prime moment Roy Keane. Obviously he is a loan card that you got from I think a couple of days ago now. So it looks good to be honest. I've got his baby from the baby icon SBC and to be honest he's not a bad card. He's not the most meta in the world. Two star skills, three star weak foot is a little bit trash but we'll see what we can do with him. Medium high work rates, five foot eleven. Pace-wise, it definitely needed an increase, so I've gave him a catalyst for that reason. Um, Shooting-wise is disregarded. I'm going to be using him more as a CDM, if anything. Um, but I felt like his defending was good enough to be a CDM, as well as, the, as well as his physicals are fantastic. So I thought, you know what? Realistically, his dribbling is not going to get much better. Agility and balance is average at best. But the rest of the stats are really nice. So I thought, give him the big upgrade on that passing. Um, even so, he doesn't really need it again. It's mainly that pace aspect that really needs that little bit of a boost. He's coming in at about 800 to 900k at this moment in time. Obviously, the market is a little bit more fluctuating as we have got a whole load of nothing but an icon SBC. So the market is going to be absolutely crazy at the minute until we get a promo or something that really drops it back down. His traits is just a power header, which I have seen as I've played, obviously, a couple of matches with him. So let's jump into foot champs and see how he plays in the next two matches. Coming up against the first squad, we are going against a very... Well, okay, he's got a Dutch up front, De Jong linking everybody together, as well as Wijnaldum, Modric, Semedo... Uh, Maguire very very slow there um, obviously it's to link that to here he may make a sub I don't know but it's looking a very average team so let's hopefully be able to get a big dub Roy Keane jockeying De Jong beautiful tackle gets the ball back one more to Messi Messi's gonna get past him one more pass it across ah not quite Van Dijk to clean it up to Roy Keane into Hull it. One more. One more. Little turn. Hit it. Oh, it's a great save from De Gea. Neymar back on it, though. Ah, oh, and I've tried to flick it backwards and he's not bothered. Oh, and it's into Messi. I felt like that's a rage quit. Obviously, with the team, I felt like already we was at a... Well, he was at a disadvantage just for the level of the team. And he did pause it. So either he's making subs or he's going into Roy Keane. We're going to make a move. No, he's going to keep the ball, though. The aggression, I feel like, will work really well for Roy Keane in that defensive role. He's not going to let the ball go, and that's something you really need from a CDM, especially when someone's really aggressive uh, tackling, especially that. Keane blocks, gets the ball back again. That's a great ball. What a fantastic goal from him. Take back everything I've said. We're at the disadvantage. Nah, that, that was a lovely goal. Well worked. Couldn't get a tackle in. And Modric with a beautiful volley. Hull it. Oh, he gets the free the corner. Lovely stuff from him. Literally every single time I see someone bring both players, I don't understand it because they're controlling one of them. So he's left that gap straight for Hullet right there. We are going to be looking for Keane to get that bullet header off that kind of goal. But Hullet's normally my man there. Keane's going to block this guy and win the ball back. Gives a foul away. But he's really not put a foot wrong yet. Oh, Neymar. Nearly. Keane. Zidane. Neymar. Into Zidane. Finesse off the body of Robertson. Half-time, Keane had a phenomenal performance in that DM role. Obviously, we are pretty on fire with this. We should definitely be up more than 2-1. But honestly, I can't argue. We're, we're putting away the chances as much as we can. He's playing very well in defence. Um, letting us have the shots. But to be honest, not a lot of shots that I'd say are goal-worthy. Mainly a few kind of rocket attempts and some just silly chances really but it's going to be stuff like this that I'm expecting to score keeper's made a fantastic save there though keen oh he gets it oh it doesn't quite manage to keep it though that's a lovely ball into Sandro Messi there we go there's number three lovely stuff keen intercepting that little dummy straight on this attack Oh, he's going to catch Messi. Messi's going to not keep it either. Mbappe. Oh, that's another great save. Punch. 
Yes, Keen. Great interception again. Oh, and Messi. It's too easy. Far too easy for him. Lovely cut stuff going through that defense. And we have got our rage quit. And again. So jumping into the second match, after that beautiful performance, we're now coming up against, okay, Zanetti, Ian Rush, um, Talvin, McGeady. Okay, we've got a nice team. A few decent players, a few that I'm thinking, realistically, you could upgrade. But again, it's all about how you play. Um, personally, any team nowadays, I don't really take for granted. Even silver teams, low gold teams, they can beat you. Genuinely, they can beat you, depending on the person. Keen taking the ball away. Oh, God, what, what was that? Keen again. Oh, unbelievable. The amount of shots we've had, and it takes a ball roll to beat us. Oh, ho, ho, there we go. Zidane's bringing it back. Half time. A little bit more of a tough match. He's definitely a good player. Um, he's very used to the team. We're having more shots. He's having a little bit more possession. Hopefully in the second half we can really put this to bed and hopefully uh, get the big dub. Roy Keane again doing very, very well in that CDM role. I don't even notice that his pace isn't quite amazing, amazing. So that's always a nice little touch from him. He is 800k, so you've got to weigh in that factor compared to someone like Conte. If you can fit him in your team, I don't think there's much comparison in, in the sense of... Um, I don't think there's much real difference between the two. They're both relatively just meta tacklers, really. Keen interception. Keen again. Lovely stuff. Keen picking it up in the midfield. Keen gets it to Mbappe. Keen intercepting again, Kent. Oh, is he offside? No, he's onside, Mbappe! Let's go, 2-1. Genuinely thought he was offside, got extremely lucky with that bounce off the keeper. Big ball over, Kent! Oh, how is he missing that? Keen again with a last man challenge that sa could save the game. Cubo burst in pace, knocks it into Kent. That's got to be. And that's it. There's the game. 80th minute. Kent's put it in. Cubo with a massive, massive burst of pace against, I think, Renato by the looks of it. Oh, Mbappe, stop it. 4-1 and he's going to be gone. 89th minute. We, we move. We move. So going into the overall review for Roy Keane, what a two matches he had. Literally perfect performance. Honestly, I don't think there was a bad thing he did wrong. His interceptions are exceptional. Tackling was uh, sublime. And the way he keeps the ball is utter fantastic. A lot of big words there. <laughs> was an absolute cracked player. G genuinely, I don't know what he did wrong. He had the ball. Yes, maybe his turns aren't the greatest. Agility and balance does let this card down. But with the catalyst having that little bit more pace, he's not the fastest, but most definitely you get him on the tackle. He ain't gonna miss. He is an absolute machine when it comes to getting that ball back. And honestly, if you got him, I'd be quite happy with him. I don't know how much he actually um, goes towards his prime, like what the difference is between them. So let's just have a quick look. So we've got on his prime, 72, 87, 89, 85, 81. So we've got 74, 86, 91, 90. So there is a, a bit of an upgrade really there. Quite a considerable amount. Let's just have a look at the defending. So we've got a lot of defending stats there. If we go back to this one, what's his in-game like? 
So his defensiveness is really good on the tackle still. Physical and strength is lovely still. Um, passing against nice. Uh, has he got more balance as, a, as the prime? By the looks of it, he does. It's mainly going to be the pace. That little two play, uh, pace extra is what really counts. And that's about it, really. Um, he is, what, one more balance on his prime moment than his, uh, than his uh, prime. And his prime is, what, 400k cheaper than this one. So it all depends on what you want to go for, really, there. I personally wouldn't be going for icons right now. Um, personally, if I was to do anything, grind the icon SBC, spend as little coins as possible doing league SBC method, and just keep your coins for team of the season. That is per personally what I'm doing with my money. Keeping it growing, doing club stocks, obviously selling when the market goes high again. It makes you a hell of a load of coins when you have uh, when you come down to it. And realistically, there's, there's no real loss of it. If you don't want to sell all the players after when they rise just go and do the sbc that's obviously making the market uh, rise up in general keen was an absolute fantastic player i genuinely really liked him as a cdm i'm giving him a solid 9.5 out of 10 he was an absolute animal so hopefully you enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe and i'll see you all for the next one.